And insurance premiums, we're seeing them go up, uh, certainly with a lot of um, natural disasters and so forth. And we're also hearing many people are forfeiting their insurances, whether it's house health insurance. Is that a good idea? Look, it, it's not, um, and it's a sign of this pressure that's on household budgets. And, of course, insurance is one of those big domestic inflationary points. They're up 16% in the last year. I think up 4% or thereabouts in the March quarter alone, according to the ABS figures last week. So there, this is a pain point, and it is a, a sort of an easy to have without, you know, take a bit more risk yourself. But I think it's all about trying to work out, well, what are the broad settings? You know, have I got too big a mortgage? Is this the right house to be in? Um, I'd be careful on going short on oh, getting out of too much insurance because that could really hurt some stage down the track. And, I mean, we've seen, you know, pretty strong markets in terms of house prices at the moment. Um, is this, I mean, this is certainly something going, people are going to be thinking about with these potential interest rate hikes is it a good time do you think for many people to to be looking at selling potentially well this this is i think where we could get to if we do see two or three more rate hikes and the reality is is that the housing market is still turning over there's still lots of buying and selling going on and prices are at or near record highs so you know if this level of interest rates and if the mortgage you currently have is too high um, for you to, to pay that mortgage repayment each month it's, it's not a matter of hoping interest rates will come down because we're in a new higher level of rates going forward. And if we get a few more now, that just reinforces that. So, you know, this isn't a bad market to be selling into. It's a it's a much better market than, you know, if, if no one was out there buying and house prices were falling, which I think could actually happen next year. So now's a good time to pe people to make some really cold, hard decisions about their financial position. Because, I mean, looking even further past, say, a year, um, as you just mentioned, you know, the interest rate hikes, but are we going to get down to those record lows at all, like down to, you know, what we saw through COVID, for example? We aren't. Mm. No, we aren't. Th those, those days are, are long gone and will never return. I mean, the only way we're going to get interest rates back to, well, the RBA rate back to near zero is in an absolute economic calamity, which none of us want to see that. Um, we've had a big turning point in inflation, um, and this is going to mean interest rates are higher for longer. This is the reality that the, the markets and investors are dealing with, and it's a reality that all of us in our community have to, for good or for bad. So we will eventually see some interest rate relief, and if they do hike this year, I think they'll be cutting next year. But when they cut, they'll probably only cut down to the current level or maybe three and a half. We're not going anywhere near those lows before. And that's why it's important for people to make some pretty tough decisions in the cold, hard light of day about what this means for them over the next three to five years. Yeah, good points. And what are you looking at overseas? Well, the overseas story is actually really pushing us in this direction. What we're seeing in the United States is their economies picking up steam and their inflation's picking up. Now, we're about six months behind them, and this is the last thing the RBA or any of us want to see. This is the risk that has to be uh, mitigated and has to be addressed, and that is that inflation really picks up again and the economy picks up. That's what happened in the late 80s. That's what led to a 7.5% cash rate. Now, we're never going to get anywhere near that in this world, but we don't want to see the cash rate go up to 6 or 7% in the next few years. But they're the hints being thrown out of the US economy at the moment, and I think that's an important reason why the RBA needs to nip this in the bud and a couple of rate hikes might do that. Warren Hogan, thank you so much for your time and expertise. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday and happy birthday for May the 4th. Be with you. <laughs> Thanks, Jody. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Thanks, Warren.